Hello everyone, it's Kendra here, Miss Kincaid. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel and for watching this video. So today I'm gonna show you guys how I got this nice sleek look on my tapered natural hair. So if you guys are interested and you wanna see my method, my routine, how I do this, then definitely keep on watching. <laughs> All right, you guys, my hair has been washed and conditioned. I use the Argan Oil of Morocco Shampoo and Conditioner by OGX. Balm definitely keeps my hair moisturized. And before I blew out my hair, I use my Mazzani Thermo Strength Heat Protecting Serum. I will put all of the information down in the description box so that you guys will have it. So after I washed, shampooed, and I applied the heat protected serum on my hair, I went ahead and I blew my hair out on high heat, high speed. And here we are now. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna be using my cheat iron. I'll try to link any information down below in the description box about this flat iron. So the heat protectant I'm using is by Sensitive by Nature. It is a shine spray plus heat protectant. So I'm going to take that and go ahead and spray that on my hair um, on the section that I'm gonna be working on. I'm using the chase method. So I'm taking my comb and I'm chasing um, my comb with the flat iron just to make sure my ends get really straight. I know that I need to trim them because they're a little ragged. So yeah, I'm just gonna follow the same process um, throughout my hair. As you see here, I'm just spraying that heat protectant all over. I definitely wanted to make sure that I was protecting my hair, you guys, because I usually do not use this um, heat protectant, this Sensitive by Nature Shine Spray. I usually use my Icy Fantasia. You guys know that I love my Icy Fantasia, but I cannot find it in my stores, in my local beauty supply store. So I picked this up from my local beauty supply store. And hopefully, y'all, hopefully, my curls come back, you guys. So, you guys, I'm just so nervous about this, but I feel like um, this is a great product. It's infused with olive oil and argan oil. So, I think I may be good, but we're definitely going to see. So, yeah, I'm just going to continue to follow that method. I'm just basically straightening my hair here. I'm not adding any curls. This is just basically to get it as straight as possible. So, I am only running my flat iron through the hair two times. One time, the chase method the second time just to add a little bit of bump so that when I wrap it it'll it'll look like something all right you guys so now I'm just going to go ahead and wrap my hair and put it under a satin scarf this is just to get my hair even straighter to make sure it's nice and sleek so I'm just going to do that and I'm going to some um, let it sit like that for about 30 minutes and then I'm gonna come back and style my hair <music> Alright you guys, now um, that it's been 30 minutes, I'm just going to twist that satin scarf off, comb my hair out, and now I'm going to begin to style my hair. So I want something that's going to last me a couple of days, so I'm going to be curling my hair really tight so that throughout the week it can kind of fall and, you know, fall into a different style. So I am going to start by flat ironing my hair, and as you can see here, this is what it looks like. This is as straight as it got. If I would have let it sit overnight, it probably would have gotten bone straight, but I don't have that time. Time. so I just let it sit for a good 30 minutes so yeah you see me here just parting the back of my hair and then curling it under really tight bumping it under really tight I'm gonna continue that all the way up the back of my hair um, until it is fully curled um, so yeah I'm just making sure it's nice and tight here Now for the sides of my hair, I'm gonna kinda curl them going back because I want a cute little loop. I don't know how to explain this. As you can see, I'm like turning it towards the back of my hair because I want all the hair to flow that way. I think it just gives it a nice flow and it makes the hair look nice and wavy. It gives it like a wavy type of look when you have layers of, you know, those type of curls. So I'm gonna be doing that on both sides of my head, making sure the curls flow towards the back of my hair. All the way up, um, I'm gonna be doing that. So yeah, just watch and see how I do this, guys. <laughs> Uh -huh. 
and on the top of my hair you guys I am going to be stopping like towards the middle and then I'm gonna start curling my hair forward so when I get to this point here then I'm going to take the top of my hair and I'm gonna start bumping it forward because I want all of that hair to flow forward and to one side so it's all about your wrist movement you guys you got to put in that wrist work honey yes so I'm curling bumping it forward but I'm also turning it towards my um, your right my left side because I want my hair um, the majority of my hair to flow that way so as you can see here I'm giving you a turnaround of how it looks so far and now I'm just gonna take my my um, comb my rat tail comb and I'm just gonna start styling my hair and you can do this any type of way that you want that is my whole thing I love to style hair so I am just taking my rat tail comb and just helping those curls to flow in the direction that I want them to go in and yeah I'm basically perfecting it and um, making it what I want it to be so you guys this right here is my final look um i absolutely love how it turned out my hair just looks so healthy mind you i didn't show you guys that i did um do a little trim on my hair so it's just feeling so healthy and it's looking so healthy and i absolutely love it um don't forget you guys to check the description box for these heat protectants as you can see the shine spray really gave my hair some great shine i mean that hair looks so shiny and i absolutely Absolutely love it so yeah check the description box for all of the information on the products that I used I'll try to link them below if I can find them thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys on my next video bye guys